Today I received this newer 11 inch adjustable friction magic card. This is the first product of this kind uh, that I get my hands on. This is what came in the package. Uh, the arm itself, it has uh, this knee joint and also it has two ball joints at the end and once you uh, fix the screw uh, all of these joints are supposed to be tightly fixed. Also packaged uh, where uh, this thing, quarter inch uh, coupler and adapter for cold shoe, also with quarter inch 20 screws. As I said, this is the first time I get my hands on a product of this sort, and let's see how it works. So, I bought this arm to attach this light to this cage. The first thing that I noticed is that it's not that easy actually. Uh, to do it fast I kind of fix it in the straight position. I screw it in. Now notice this. When arm is fully stretched, uh, and I don't know again maybe this is the problem of all uh, products of this sort, or this just specific product. The friction that I can create, even when this thing is fully tightly screwed in, is not nearly sufficient uh, to prevent ball joints from rotating. So what I notice though, that if the ball joints are at its extreme, like for instance right now, right here, and if I screw it in, this is more or less reliable. I can still rotate it sideways, but it's, uh, I have more confidence in connection like this. My light has quarter inch uh, screw hole itself. So now I can more or less fix it. Is this something that I have confidence in? Mm, hardly. For a static shot in a studio, maybe it will do. But I wouldn't walk on the street with this because I know that no matter how much I screw, tied the screw it still doesn't provide me enough friction to hold this light so overall I don't think I would recommend this arm again this was review of newer uh, 11 inch adjustable magic card